Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about a tale of two assistants and Trump. And two instances of somebody close to Trump saying something that is incredibly problematic for the former president. Um, this is definitely information you're going to see again. Okay, so we will start with the Georgia case. Jeffrey Clark, during Trump's time, DOJ. Okay, So he, like Meadows, trying to get his case removed from the state of Georgia and taken to federal court. The argument that was made by his attorneys was basically, hey, he was in DOJ acting in his role, and everything he did was at the direction of Trump. We're, we're, we're probably going to hear those words again. Um, the judge, when it comes to the removal, the judge seemed skeptical, but did not rule on it immediately. Um, when you're talking about a wide-ranging case like the one that's happening in Georgia, a defense attorney does not want to hear that a another defendant said that everything they did was at the direction of their client. That's that's bad news for a defense team. Um, so we'll see that information again one way or another, and that's kind of a major development. That's one of those things that is uh, could alter the outcome of a case as it proceeds. Now, the other thing has to do with the documents case. The reporting says that an assistant to Trump was told by Trump, you don't know anything about those boxes. Something along those lines. You don't know about the boxes. You don't know anything about the boxes. Something like that. Believe me, you're going to see the direct quote over and over again in media coverage soon. Um... Yeah, that's, 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 that's horrible news for the former president. Um, because a, in that case, one of the big things would be willfully retaining it, keeping it after you knew you were supposed to turn it back in. Directing somebody to say that they don't know anything about the boxes particularly given the context, appears to be um, in relation to telling that to federal investigators, that's going to be a problem, both on the willful retention side of things and on any potential obstruction thing. That's just all bad news for the former president right there. Um, now, that is uh, those are the two big pieces, and those are major enough to be mentioned on this channel because they're going to prompt other news stories, I'm sure. But after the update on the second channel about this, um, one of the questions that came in was, why does everybody keep talking about how they're stored? Because possession, retention, is enough. Yes, that's true. Um, however, if they were stored in a manner that was secure this probably wouldn't be as big a deal. Um, don't get me wrong, it, it would probably still be an issue, but it would, would be less of one. The other part to it is, if it is demonstrated that people who did not, did not have uh, the proper clearance to access this stuff, did because of how it was stored, it becomes another issue for the former president later on down the road. That's why it keeps coming up. Um, to be clear, even if he had the stuff locked in a skiff somewhere <laughs> and he refused to give it back, that's still actually a problem. Um, that's still a legal issue. But having it stored the way he allegedly did, that's even worse. Um, so you're still gonna see conversations about that. 
but that isn't something that's going to make or break the case, just to clarify that. But Trump got a lot of bad news. There's a, there appear to be a lot of his a lot of his former associates that are pointing the finger at him. And once that starts, there might be a lot of people who decide to uh, start rolling with the homies. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.